16 years ago I first discovered drifting by going to spectate an event in Rose Green and I was watching my brother compete in his first ever event at the first drift competition in Ireland. After seeing my brother take the win at that event in Ireland, I knew that this is what I wanted to do when I was old enough. Fast forward five years later, we're back in Rose Green. I'm sitting in my uh, Nissan S14 and we're in the finals of my first pro final event. We managed to take the win and I had absolutely no idea where this sport was going to take us and what was going to lie ahead. To make the challenge bigger, I decided to try to take on three different championships in three different continents. So, to start the year out, we competed in the Oman Automobile Association International Drift Championship, a three round championship in Oman, and we managed to take the championship win and then ship the S14 back to Europe, competed in Drift Masters and Formula Drift at the same time. Worked super hard on both sides between flying over and back to Atlantic, and uh, we had a lot of ups and downs on both sides, uh, but we managed to take the victory in both championships. It wasn't easy, it was a hard fought team effort but it's just been the most successful year of my career. We already have a lot of challenges ahead, a lot of exciting things coming and I cannot wait for 2019. So the 2018 Formula Drift Championship was a lot more challenging than the year we had last year. We had quite a few glitches and little issues throughout the season and it really came down to the final round in Irwindale between myself and Frederick Asbo. Everything was going very smoothly throughout the weekend until we got to top 16 and uh, we had an issue with the steering which put us out of competition battling Forrest Wang and before I knew it it was in Fate's hands. Frederick was looking really good. I was watching everything from the sidelines and uh, I really had a lot of faith in Peter. Peter got knocked out in top 16 and then I could really see things like almost falling away in front of me. I could see this championship that we worked really hard for just drifting away basically. So it came down to the finals. Uh, Frederick was battling Vaughn Gittin and uh, Vaughn actually pulled up next to me and he he basically gave me a look and he said, I'm going to do this for you. And he pushed really hard, like harder than I've ever seen him drive before. It was an intense set of battles. They went one more time, two times. Uh, all came down to the last corner of the last run um, where Frederick made a slight mistake. And before I knew it, I was grabbed by my team and I was being chucked in the air. My name being called out in commentary as 2018 Formula Drift Champion. Sitting here now, thinking back to that first time I saw drifting in Rose Green, it's just hard to believe. You know, I had dreams and I always managed to somehow achieve a dream and then get a new dream, a new goal, push hard, then achieve it, move on to something else. And honestly, looking back, 
As a 10 year old kid, I could have never imagined that we would have come so far. So many people have been involved with us since day one and it's just been amazing and it just shows that if you want to do something and you're passionate enough about doing it and you know, really give it everything you can, you can achieve things that might seem impossible at the time because before I started competing in Europe, I never thought I was going to be a European champion. Uh, same thing goes for Ireland before that. And going to FD, I just had one dream and that was to try to get my hands in a carbon fibre trophy. And to be a two-time champion now uh, and winning three championships in one year, it all seems just out of this world, even right now. And uh, I gotta say, if you have a dream, just chase it and go all the way because you can achieve things that seem impossible.